Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 134. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode, so the cat logo does have to come up. But if you guys want to read this, where it's on my private channel, and I can take off all the censorship and also give you guys uh, early access, I am taking a hiatus uh, this month, so I'm not charging people, but I am going to still upload as I go. So definitely check it out on patreon.com slash CKTK. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> oh my god, I remember. I love you, Nabir. So you. Now you want to tell her that you love her? What he said had me feeling reeling. I love you. How dare he say that now after ruthlessly casting me aside? So, okay, so Sovatia said that. I love you. You must be joking. Did you think you could win me back by saying that? No. I want you to laugh at me. Huh? As your former husband, I am a fool who regrets forcing you out. I want you to enjoy my misery and suffering after realizing too late what I had lost. I'd like our divorce to be something you can laugh at and not something that hurts you. Oh, she's crying. Then why? In order to protect my child, I'm going to banish your brother. Giving your blessing to expectant mothers is something you're used to doing as an empress. Is it really that difficult for you to do the same for Rashta? A fitting expression to use here would be silence is golden. Uh. Rashta. Prince Henry said he won't dance with me. <laughs> Regardless of how stuck up she is, I suppose she had no choice but to act like that to curry favor with the emperor. I'm glad I have you by my side. Why cast me aside in the first place? We may not have been in love, but we were friends. To be honest, I may have had some feelings for you, yet you heartlessly abandoned me, humiliated me, and made a mockery of the time we spent together, but now you've changed your mind? I want you to remember this moment when you think of our divorce. Don't feel hurt because of what I did. Remember how your pathetic former husband couldn't move on from you. And laugh at me. Weird. Weird gesture there, but okay. The Remarried Empress, episode 134. Girl, don't waste your tears on that loser. I love you, my queen. I'm sorry. How can I return things to the way they were? I love you, Navier. All this fuss about love. I don't mean to put myself down, but I'm not exactly a fun person to be around. I'm more likely to be reading or going through documents than spending time with others. I'm boring. Yet, my queen, Henry still loves me. Love is supposed to be something beautiful and sweet, but how can I trust it? Grand Duke Kaufman lost his composure and became driven by impulse. So Vaishu became irrational and made a foolish choice. How long will Henry love me? So, uh-uh. That sounds like... It's coming from the marital cha bedchamber. Uh, Henry? 
Is he still feeling guilty about the love potion? St Maybe Henry's love has an expir expiry date? Maybe it doesn't? But that doesn't change the fact that he helped me when I was in trouble. Henry. My queen. <laughs> Are you crying? It's nothing. Don't worry about me. I love you, my queen. You don't have to give me a response right now. I can wait a lifetime for your answer. I was worried that you chose to sleep alone because the mana stones were affecting you negatively. No, they aren't a problem. Don't worry about that. <sighs> Finally, some good news. My queen. I feel a little sleepy now that we've cleared the air. Can we sit here like this for a little longer? Sure. Mm. I hope his love does expire. There are a lot of things you must take care of now that you're our nation, nation is an empire. <laughs> Invite envoys from the nations that are supportive and those that are opposed to our kingdom becoming an empire. You want to invite the nations that are against it? We need to figure out whether their refusal to see us as the empire reflects on the opinion of the envoy or the views of the nation they represent. We also need to see which nations are genuine in their support. Oh. <laughs> That's going to result in a month of hardship for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Oops. It's because of the Marquis Catron, isn't it? Marquis Catron. He's close to Lady Krista and is still the Minister of Foreign Affairs, even after the regime regim change because there's no one else who is suitable. He dedicated to his work, at least, so I'll assign him a lot of work. And I need to deal with Lady Krista. I would have already done so had it not been my brother's dying wish to see that she's taken care of. As I thought, the, prob the problem is... Empress Navia receives a barrage of letters every day from the noble women who have turned against Queen Krista. And there's also the scandalous rumors about Emperor Henry and Queen Krista. I heard His Majesty had a secret re rendezvous, rendezvous with Lady, Lady Krista during the wedding reception. <gasps> you heard correctly. I saw them with my own eyes. How disgraceful. We need to support Her Majesty. <sighs> Come to the lounge at the time I mentioned of the second day of the reception. All I did was do what Grand Duke Coffin told me to do, but now I'm in a bind. I have to restore my standing somehow. Uh, no matter what it takes. The remarried Empress. Hmm. So Grand Duke Kaufman was the one who set her up too. So, huh, I wonder, I wonder why. Obviously, we see now that because of this scandalous rumor and people did witness, you know, Queen or Lady Krista with King Henry and, you know, it's really frowned upon, you know, because she was married to the former or late king. So, yeah, I think it was set up to kind of like deteriorate and kind of not dethrone her because she's already not in her original position, but also like knock her status down a bit so she doesn't have a lot of supporters and give her a lot of powers you know the more support you have the more powerful you get but i think grand duke kaufman kind of did that in favor for navier without navier realizing it yet so that's what i'm assuming i'm kind of glad that you know navier did not fall for Sobeshu's you know tactic antics whatever the correct english word for is but Sebastian wants her to like laugh at him now and um, don't feel bad about it. But instead feel grateful that, you know, he's now feel like an idiot. 
So uh, I guess it's weird. I think that's weird. But I'm glad Nabir doesn't fall for it and doesn't let her heart waver and fall back to fall back in love with or have feelings for Sobishu again. But it sucks that now she's just questioning her like if whether Henry's love for her is, you know, has an expiration date on it or is it a long term thing or is it a forever thing? So it's hard because Navier can't ever accept good things coming towards her, you know. Anyways, that's my brain still trying to digest everything I just read. But all right, guys, uh, I'm gonna like sign on out. I'm still on my hiatus. I'm still recovering from a lot of things. But I'm gonna try to upload all my reads that I did record for this month. I'm just might as well push out whatever I can. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this episode. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye!